those ones empaths have you ever had someone in your life it doesn't have to be romantically it could be a friend right it could be a family member it doesn't have to be romantically in this scenario right but they kind of ignore you you know you've done a lot for them but it's not like a two-way street anymore it's like it's like they almost don't try this could be in the romantic situation as well but you know they it, it's it's like they almost ignore you they just ignore you now this can affect us quite deeply because us as empaths and chosen ones we care a lot about people we try our best with people we pour our love into people we've built people up we've given people money we, we we've done a lot of things for people these same very people that are now ignoring us that say you know you you may wish them happy holidays or happy birthday or whatever religious celebration or celebration you, you may wish them that on uh, each year you may not frequently speak anymore because naturally people drift apart but you know you never get it back from them on your birthday you never get oh happy birthday or you never get oh happy holidays you know but this was like your close person to you this at one point in time this person was like you know you were stuck together like glue you were, you were tight you know what i'm saying you're real tight and i know people drift apart right naturally we drift apart people go on they have families they have children get married it's natural right it's natural for for people to drift apart okay so this is more of like a friend thing that i'm talking about now rather than a romantic partner but i guarantee you've got a friend that, that just doesn't do what you expect of them like and it's not that you poured forth your love only to receive like we give to receive it's just common decency to actually have care and consideration because naturally if you haven't spoken to someone in a long time you could be dead and they could all not even know right and one thing i would say is don't fight for their attention once you've seen this in someone don't fight for their attention ever again we may have made the mistake and we didn't realize we was actually fighting for their attention when we were doing it we were just trying to merely reach out trying to talk trying to converse trying to get like you know like how it used to be when you was tight when you were stuck together like glue or reasoning with them you know don't fight for their attention because what i've realized is they're ignoring you because of how powerful you've become this happens after you've been in a narcissistic relationship friends will be distant with you friends will back away they're no longer that ear to listen to you anymore they don't want to help you out even though you were the listening ear when they were going through their drama and their problems right they're ignoring you because of how powerful you've become you're not the same person anymore and they're very jealous of you you have to realize these people that were so tight with us yeah they've got traits toxic traits we didn't see it at the time we was blind to it but we can see it now after we've been in a romantic relationship with a narcissist we can see it now these lot are jealous of us they're jealous of how powerful we've become they're jealous of how much we've spiritually evolved you see they feel diminished in our presence you see if you're in a room full of people and you're with them they know the light will be on you they know you'll be sent a stage as a chosen one and an empath even though we could be chilling in the corner of the room quiet keeping to ourselves not really saying too much moving like a ghost in the shadows people will still be like who's that they feel our energy they feel our spirit because we're beings of light that's why we attract people we attract narcissists we attract these people 
because we've got such a powerful energy about us. Right? They don't like to get in verbal confrontations with us. Neither. These people want to see your downfall. I know they were your ride or die close friends. But they're not happy when you're doing well. They're not happy when you share good news. You know when you go tell your family member of good news? Maybe not all family members, but you know, you might tell your family member, your mum, your dad, I don't know, your sister, your brother, your cousin, someone, your nan. And you tell them good news and they're so generally happy for you. They're like, wow. And you can just see it, they're smiling. They're happy. They're like, I'm so pleased for you. You got that job. Wow, congratulations. Genuine. Wow, look at your new car. They're like, yes, look at you. Wow, look at those new clothes you're wearing. They look lovely. That's a genuine person. And we'll get that kind of love from real ones. We'll get them we'll get that real love from other chosen ones and empaths too. But these so-called friends, the so-called people that was part of our circle at one point. They're not happy for us. They're not happy to see us doing well. They're not happy to see us embarking on quests, aligning with our purpose, finding our meaning. They're not happy for us. They're not happy for us in any situation. And you know why? Because they're secretly competing with us. When we do better, they feel less than. That's the ultimate truth And it's the sad truth And that's why I say Let those people go Let them go Don't contact them again Don't phone their phone again Keep moving on with your life I'm not telling you to totally cut them off Because people can eventually change But I'm saying Focus on yourself Right Focus on yourself. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your meaning. I made a video about that earlier on the other channel. So you can check that out. But by you embarking on your quest, your pursuits, your goals, your passions, your dreams. Giving them no attention. Just like they're giving you no attention. Yeah? Yeah? I'm not saying fighting fire and fi- fighting fire with fire is the ultimate best thing to do. But we've tried to reach out. We've tried to wish them happy holidays. We've tried to wish them happy birthday. We tried to say let's link up and have a meal. We've tried to call their phone. They're not interested. You know why? Because they're jealous of you. They're jealous. They're absolutely jealous and envious of you. How sick and twisted is that? That you can be someone who's caring, loving, kind, done things for them, built them up, helped them out, sorted them out with money, let them stay at your house when they was homeless. All sorts of things. And these same very people turn their backs on you. These same very people start to have resentment towards you. These same very people actually hate on you. But what do they say? Hating People that hate on you are your biggest fans. Right? They're your biggest fans. Right? And hold on, there's a saying. There's a saying. Let me think of it. Hold on a minute. Um, they also intimidate you. Right? I mean, imitate you. Sorry. And imitation is the biggest form of flattery. You see... You may have been telling this person all 10 years ago, yo, get on this thing, jump on this thing now, it's serious. If you do this, this, this idea that I'm telling you, or I'll bring you in on it, yeah, I'll bring you in on it, like do it. They didn't want, they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen. They want to listen to you. They said, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do it. Now you catch wind all 10 years later, And they're doing that thing that you was all doing 10 years ago. 
But as you say, as the quote I want to say, imitation is the best form of flattery. These people secretly desire to have the gifts that you have. These people secretly desire to have the light that you have. Trust me. They'll cover it up. They'll make you feel less than. This is, you know you're real people. When you're in a crucial situation, you, you really know. When you've been through narcissistic abuse, you're going through hell on earth. And these same people that you helped up back in the day aren't there for you. They're not a listening ear. Don't even fight for their attention, man. Don't fight for their attention at all. They're ignoring you because of how powerful you've become. You actually get so powerful after going through narcissistic abuse. You become a new changed person. And that's another, another reason why they ignore you. Or they don't give you the attention that you deserve. It's actually because you've changed. You've evolved. You've become a better person. And they just don't know how to handle it. So when they find themselves in a conversation with you. They're taken back. Like. Where does this person get this energy from? Where does this person get this light from? And they, they, they can't understand it. They can't understand it at all. So what I say. Is if you've got anyone, a family member, a friend, a colleague, someone that you are close with, that is actually trying to ignore you, or two word answers, not really responding properly, not really, you know, communicating properly, cut them off, get on with your own life. And you'll be walking down the road in a year's time from now where you've walked and aligned in your purpose. You've achieved great goals and you'll see them. And they'll say, hey, oh, how are you? How are you? And you'll know beneath that eye is nothing but envy and hate. Trust me. I've seen it. I've experienced it. So don't feel alone. You know, I'm here for you. You ever want to ask me a question, you can email me and I'll try my best to respond as soon as possible. You know, don't worry about it. Sometimes God keeps us alone for a period of time. We don't have to be alone forever. You know, we'll, walk, we'll find that chosen one, our, our, our divine counterpart. Our real soulmate. Right? But these so-called friends, colleagues, family members, that actually secretly, ultimately envy us and hate on us, don't give them the time of day. You don't need to get into an argument with them. It gives them supply. You don't need to tell them this, that, the other. Leave what you've told them already. Someone with enough, enough rationale would have understood when you've reached out after narcissistic abuse and they would have seen you've gone through suffering. They would have been there for you. These people that are not there for you, they're not real ones. They're not your real ones. They might be your day ones, but they're not real ones. I'll say that again. They might be your day ones, but they're not real ones. Yeah. This journey is about you now. This journey is about you going forward. This journey is about you aligning with your purpose, your meaning, and your passions. And embark on this quest. And I know it might be a lonely road. But there's a difference between being lonely and alone. So enjoy the time being alone. And develop. And build. And build. And keep building. Because one day you'll be at the store. You'll be at the supermarket. You'll be on the street. You'll be somewhere driving past. And they'll see you. And they'll hail you down and flag you down. And you'll talk. Just like how you used to talk. Or how it's been. When you was younger. When you was back in the day one days. But your life would have moved on so much more than theirs. Meanwhile. They're copycatting stuff that you done all ten years ago. So anyway. I hope this video helps you. Just remember. Don't fight for no one's attention. They're not giving you the attention you deserve. Cut them off. 
Leave them be. Let them wonder. Because these people are only going to realise your true value once you make it. And all of us, we need to embark on that journey and that quest of aligning with our purpose, our meaning, our passions, our desires, our destiny. And leave these lot in the distance. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. If you would like a one-to-one -one session, you can also find the link in the description box. It may be easier for you to go over to the main channel to do that, to either book a session or donate, because currently these links aren't clickable. Um, and if you want more narcissism-based content, you can head over to that main channel as well. The link is in the description box. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all soon. Peace.